Yeah, okay, I can tell you that the player status rules are very clear and in very primary language, only that some people don't have the willpower to, to, to implement it. Uh, the Nigerian National League of today uh, is ready to play by the rules. Most importantly, I want to tell you that we have uh, gotten to the archives to look at the contracts of every player to ensure that no player in the National League is owed. If any player is still being owed in the National League, the player should come forward. Then we look at the terms of the contract of the players and make sure we get it fixed. No player is supposed to go home empty-handed because service has been given. The stationary stores of this world, the superstars of this world, are now back and fit as fiddle to play in the National League. I can tell you that it's a very big brand and it's going to take the Bet Niger Nigerian National League to the next level because you have the stationary stars of this world, you have mighty jets of this world, you have 3SC of a battle. Other big names are in the National League today. We cannot do anything than to do it better, to make sure that we take the, next, the, the league to the next level. You can uh, we see that in the Premier League of this year, our teams that came from the National League are actually competing. They are not just participating. So the Bet Niger Nigerian National League has been rebranded and recreated in such a way that it is no longer a Super 4 that we end the competition. It is now a Super 8 that is not just a jamboree, but as well a competition. A situation that from the Northern Conference, four teams will qualify from each of the groups, and at the end of the day, we have eight teams. Those eight teams, none of them will have qualified to play in the Nigerian Professional Football League at that very moment. It's only when you qualify in the Super 8 that you will actually say Eureka. Chairman of the Nigerian National League, Chidi Oke, who are breaking down our procedures for getting the NNL back on track. But most importantly, he said that uh, the Nigerian National League will sanction clubs that failed to fulfill financial obligations to their coaches and players. So it means play, players' welfare, coaches' welfare is still top priority for the development of the league. And he went on, Alfred, to call teams that we should be expecting. He said stationary stars, they're coming back. 3ST, they're in the National League. Mighty Jets. He forgot Bendel and Sharas, Bielsa United. So we're going to the competitive football. Uh, okay, well, of course, um, you, you know that the NNL is one league that is often very, very competitive. It's a dogfight down there. Everybody's mm. struggling to come to the Premier League. I, I mean, it just change the, the kind of rules they brought out now has just changed the complexion. You might finish top of your group, your you know your group uh, in the regular season, but you've not been promoted until you play from the. That's what it means now. So you're, what you're playing for is to qualify for the Super Eight. It's when you get to the Super Eight that you know the four teams that will go. I mean, wow. it's uh, it's uh, <laughs> we're to see how that will be for brands like mm. Stars of Lagos. I mean, it's uh, this is a club that have not been in existence for a while, but the supporters are still there. Yeah. Supporters are some of the But Alfred, persons are asking how, that, how come stuff is just coming because they need to understand that they start. had to expand the league. Mm, they so had, it's a vacant slot. Yeah, yeah, it's vacant. They yeah, mm. had to expand the league and, and they brought in these teams. Perhaps uh, maybe, just maybe, do they have uh, because the problem of stuff has always been that of um, you know uh, funding, taking care of the club because how they went down. I recall on the experience where the likes of Kazim Ayila, the same Kazim Ayila was cut of the way we played Calabarovas, coached by then, you know, the late Kelechi in between. I the only consider I went to watch that game. Say they had money issues. Mm. Stars was playing Super 11, 11 players, there was no player on the bench. All the players uh, packed their things and left oh. because they've not been paid. Hopefully, these things like you know, to change. I mean, to change. Uh, football so now. Club with a rich history. Very, very rich And good history. followership. And you look at the, the likes of my, my, my good friend, Yomi Kuku. A die-hard star supporter. I, am, I have very soft support for the club because I saw the likes of Steve Bochwe. You know, play for stores those days at the Unicorn Stadium, um, Collins, a bit me and all that. These are people when we were small, when we were boys, we, we, they were perhaps the biggest players that you can think of. We saw them play. And um, for me, that club is one club that I really want to see come back. That's right. And, uh, you know, just mix up things in Lagos. Perhaps MFM is a bit too comfortable. Just mix.
Olympics is up in Lagos and see where they can go. It will be good. It will be good to have them back. It will be good to see how the Nigerian National League improve. We liked what we saw last season. Uh, I mean, it was it was competitive. Uh, it was a fight. Heartland, go round, um, Bielsa United. It was just about Quara United that had it easy. But they've come into the main league now. <laughs> it's one good, different, match, yeah. it's a different kettle of fish. I know. It's a different kettle of fish. I know, but it's very important. And uh, big ups to uh, Chidi Okewa and his team. Uh, let's continue to support international best practices, particularly as regards players' welfare and coaches' welfare. Uh, we shouldn't embarrass ourselves anymore. So uh, we're waiting for the NNL to commence and then uh, the best of football. I mean, Lagos will be very, very busy. We have stores, you have the United. I mean, we should get talking about it again. Sports tonight on channels, television. I'll soon talk to uh, fans of Manchester United and Liverpool. Uh, what sort of game should we be expecting tomorrow? But let's just go to uh, social media platforms and just uh, see some uh, of your messages. Uh, Kalamazu Kags says we should be uh, we should be aware of the kind of players that we draft into the team. Talking about a super good team for the World Cup, uh, that we drafted to the team months to the World Cup. If at all there must be additions, they should be active veterans with necessary experience, like Joel B or Bafemi Martins, Austin Ejide, and so on. Introducing fresh legs never works for us. Hmm. I don't know, but you're not uh, Coach Gunnar Raw, you're not part of the technical crew. I didn't know what works better for them. Uh, but I think I get where it's coming from. He gets paid for doing the job. Let's just um, support A little bit of experience, what he's looking for. Uh, Chedo Zahibi says, Alfred has, hit, has just hit the nail on the head. Uh, there's a camaraderie now among all concerned. I hope that a few days or weeks to the Mundial, people won't start to bicker over the slightest thing and upsetting the apple cart. May God help us. I think that's the right way to, uh, to always end. And what we talk about the super eagles now, uh, brings of God factor. It is uh, son of grace says, I think we need to give credit to the Nigeria Football Federation. Uh, President Amadou Pinning, the smooth sailing from uh, getting the coach, getting the sponsors, qualifying for the World Cup, the preparation, the NFF awards, and so uh, the NFF has done well. So, kudos to the NFF. So, when they do well, we tell them well done. When they're not doing well, sure. we tell them to also sit up. After the one minute before I let you go, uh, Manchester United, Liverpool, what are their expectations? Uh, Good game. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, Liverpool is free full in football. Uh, Mohamed Salah has registered 32 goals in all competitions. Uh, perhaps at any point in that game, I just uh, scored. Romelu Lukaku has scored only against one of the big six teams. And that, that was against uh, Chelsea. Uh, it would be nice to see him score again against um, a very top opposition like uh, Liverpool. But between the two guys, uh, I'm sure they have mutual respect. Uh, who needs it more? I think it's um, Manchester United. You think it's Manchester United? I think it's... Who's uh, in a better form to get it? Liverpool. Liverpool. So, yeah. football will give us the answer. So, uh, when both sides uh, clash tomorrow, uh, we'll come back also to talk about it. Action back to all the sports. Alfred, thank you so much uh, for your time. Always a it's delight a to have you here. It's a pleasure. Sorry. Okay, let's just go on this time out. I'll play some tennis. Serena Williams is back. And when we'll come back, I'll be playing some chess. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.